Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 27th, 2023. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to The Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun. No major solar flares or CMEs, but a small CME was projected southward in an Earth-directed fashion. You'll see it in the bottom side of our sun there. Plasma filament eruption did create a coronal mass ejection. It's going sl- to slight, uh, slightly give us a glancing blow in the future here towards the end of the month. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming, those sunspot groups are now Earth-facing. We've got a big coronal hole developing in the cresting imagery here and as well outgoing plasma filaments and large sunspot grouping and there's that large coronal mass ejection having a look at multi-spectrum here the last 48 hours of events active sunspot groups producing c-class solar flares and as well as i said incoming coronal hole region And that is starting to crest into view right now. So multiple sunspots. We had a dozen the other day. Earth facing. And they've produced nothing major or nothing over. Moderate C-class flares. So. Yeah, we were expecting the high frequency of sunspots but the activity was kind of null, and that's okay. we still got 10 sunspot regions that are Earth-facing right now. Another look at them here. All these images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed with daily events worldwide. Look at those sunspot regions in motion. Space weather conditions right now, there are none. After seeing a G1 a geomagnetic storm over the weekend, 442 kilometers per second our solar winds are hitting right now solar x-ray flux remains in a heightened c range after seeing a moderate c class solar flare today solar proton flux slightly elevated geomagnetic activity we did hop up to a kp6 the evening of the 26th having a look at the iswa space prediction spiral most recent cme taking off from the sun, heading right at us. Expected arrival 30th into December 1st. Space Weather Prediction Center showing the same thing. Expected arrival 30th into the 1st of December. Now let's have a look at LASCO 2 showing all the cosmic energy taking off from our sun. No major CMEs the last two days. It's been pretty quiet. The greatest one was projected today. Right there in the north, a small one. And then right here in the south. Earth-directed fashion, but southward, as I said. Now let's get to earthquakes the past 24 hours as we're sitting at about 200 earthquakes, according to USGS. But interesting activity here as activities moved westward of Fiji here through Vanuatu. 5.5 earthquake there, 5.4, no deep earthquakes through that region. Still seeing earthquakes at Mog Islands, Northern Marianas Trench. 5.6 earthquake here, Indian Ocean, Triple Junction. Pretty rare place for an earthquake as well. 4.9 there up into uh, Blair Point, India. Japan, Raku Islands, Minami, minor activity up into Alaska. Same with the North American plate. No major swarms to talk about. Largest being the 3.5 there, Bodfish, California. Things quieted down through Hawaii, but Caribbean plate, lots of new activity here. Largest being the 4.2 magnitude, the Virgin Islands. And that's been increasing recently in magnitude. And then we get to South America. And this is where we've seen most of the activity and the deepest. San Antonio de Cobros, 174 kilometer depth, 
5.0 Antofagasta, Chile as well. 5.0 earthquake there reported South Sandwich Islands north of the Michael Volcano and as well Southern Mid-Atlantic Ridge 4.6 and that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. We were up and over 280 the other day in the report. Expecting, still expecting something big here, but we're missing something. We're missing those deep earthquakes. Those really deep earthquakes that should be balancing out, I guess, per se. We shall see what happens here over the next 24 hours, but the way this is going, something's going to pop. Fiji, quite possibly underwater volcano, but we've got new volcanoes waking up as well. Krakatoa through Western Java. Now let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated and as well most recent satellite imagery. We've got Reventador in Ecuador, Popo in Mexico, and as I said, Krakatoa, Indonesia. That just erupted about two, two hours ago getting updated. Newly awakened Krakatoa. We've also got Sabancaya in Peru. Santa Maria in Guatemala, Semeru in Indonesia, Fuego in Guatemala, Dokono in Indonesia, Nevadas de Ruiz, Colombia. This is all in the last six hours, so that's about 10 volcanoes getting updated. 11 there with Luatolo. New report coming out 12 hours ago, so that's two newly awakened volcanoes. In the past 24 hours, Krakatoa and Luatolo. Looking here, satellite imagery, big low. Uh, lots of lake effect snow for Ontario and as well for northeastern parts of the United States. Big low pressure system here affecting northeastern Australia. You've seen lots of storms and will continue to do so as those low pressure systems get trapped. And then overlooking Africa and Europe, pretty big, vigorous system just affected the Black Sea. Actually, it really affecting Russian forces through the back Black Sea as well. Huge storm and storm surge, strong waves, torrential downpours. They're actually reporting a lot of devastation through the coastlines there, through the Black Sea parts of Russia. Now let's get to air quality. Overlooking North America, South America, major eruptions there through Mexico, and then overlooking Southeast Asia and the Pacific. Still looking at quite an SO2 cloud from Uluwan and as well Bagana this week. Multiple volcanoes that are popping off through Papua New Guinea, Vanuatu, and eastward through New Caledonia. Overlooking the rest of the world as that plume just continues to get bigger and starts to actually invade the northern hemisphere. Being passed around the globe, all these SO2 particulates, volcanic ash. Yeah, big eruption this week at Uluwan. And as well, Bagana through Papua New Guinea. So, heads up, my friends and family. We've got lots of erupting volcanoes around the world. Air quality is getting a little shysty, to say the least. Now let's get to weather here overlooking Australia and Southeast Asia. Low pressure systems affecting most of Eastern Australia. And as well, possible cyclone here developing for India. As a pretty strong system develops for Japan as well possible typhoon action there stay tuned for a full detailed forecast this is an overview an overlook at our world overlooking europe and africa multiple low pressure systems affecting you this week and as well the cold temperatures will be funneling in as things start to shift around big cold high is moving in and then watch for another big system here to develop for the mediterranean and of course the black sea could see some heavy amounts of snow, just like 
eastern Canada right now. Big low affecting most of eastern Canada and as well the Canadian prairies. And that low pressure system is going to be funneling around the Hudson Bay area and then watch all these multiple lows in the long range forecast develop and come into British Columbia and then are sent southward after being uh, chilled out by the northern winds. Overlooking South America, extreme weather event expected all week long through Argentina, Buenos Aires, Paraguay, Bolivia, multiple low pressure systems, interesting currents. Upper level winds are changing. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. Get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.